TV, baby. Yes, sir. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, eat. Smash. Smash. That subscribe button, man. And we are back with a new series. Shout out to HBO Max. Shout out to John Cena, man. Yes, sir. We are here for the first episode of Peacemaker. Ooh, pushing peace. If you live here right now, we got the full reaction up on Patreon. So go check us out on Patreon. We got a lot of dope things over there for y'all, too. Peacemaker on Patreon. That's P. That's P. Pushing P's. He pushing P's. <laughs> but yo, man, we uh, met the Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad movie. It's a really dope movie. If you haven't seen our reaction, the link will be in the bio to go watch our Suicide Squad reaction. Go check that out right after you watch this episode. And uh, we see John Cena, man. He'll go through the Peacemaker, I should say. Yeah. Will do anything to protect the peace or what he deems the peace. Yeah. He will do anything for the mission. Mm. No matter how violent it is, he's going to do what he got to do. Yeah. We'll also, do super... Wife. Yeah, he gonna do it his way for sure, and um, and honestly, he's super funny. We saw that the uh the Suicide Squad movie had a lot of uh comedy throughout the whole movie. It was balanced, yeah. It was action and comedy, like it was at perfect equilibrium, I can say, yeah, for sure. What was I telling y'all about John Cena? I'm telling you, he's hot out here. Nah, he they is. gave he him his that. whole series. That, yeah. I've been yeah. trying to tell you. <laughs> what was he talking about that in Atlanta? Huh? That was in Atlanta we were talking about that? Yeah, I yeah, was telling I you, I'm like, yo, John Cena is hot. John Cena Batista. 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 I'm like, John Cena, yo, don't sleep on John Cena, bro. Shout out John Cena, man. <laughs> changed the wrestling game, and now he about to change the TV show game, man. And we here to watch it with you. And I, as we see at the end of the uh, Suicide Squad movie, it seemed like he had died um, from what he had done uh, with Idris Elba and him. But he is alive, and he's with a new team. Yep. I'm interested to see what we get in this series, guys. You guys have any expectations, man? This I think it's gonna be. Action. I think it's gonna be gory. It's gonna be bloody like the Suicide Squad. It's gonna give me like the boys vibes. Like yeah, I, I'm, that's what I hope to be like. Something like the boys, real comedic but very also very gory. Um, and yeah, that's really what I expect to see. It's gonna be way, way funnier than um, the boys. It'll be like a funny version of the boys. Yeah, and honestly, yo, John Cena made the Marine in 12 rounds, my nigga. He could do anything, bro. Yeah, I think he could do Passion of Christ next, my nigga. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> All right. John, All right. Cena been, John Cena been hot since we since we were 11, 12, when Evan was still pissing in his bed. John Cena's been hot. I heard about and that. And now, we're, oh, huh? I heard about that. Yeah. That's how long Rob's it's still been. Still his bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey man, he's still hot. Only what I with, I, right with your girl. Oh shit. I mean, ah. hey man, that still seems like it's a personal problem. That still seems like a sick problem to have. No, that's a that's you know, a that's a sick problem to have, Robbie. Your girl's getting your baby to piss yourself. That is. It's the same, bro. Nah, 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 nah. All right, we out of here, man. You search shit up on though, yo. All right, man. I guess we got some sick humor here, too, man. Keep it live. We're yeah, we getting it. ready for the show, man. Yeah, man. I guess Let's so, Let's get man. into it. This is a dope. We showing this late night, too. Pushing, after pushing. Dark RTTV. Pushing after out. Dark RTTV. Let's pushing get into P. it. <laughs> Season one, episode one, A Whole New World. Shout out to physical therapy. Go home. Enjoy life. I don't have any weed on me, man. That was a one time thing. That was a one time thing. Dude, can I trust you? No. I don't get any trustworthy or shit. Talk to him. I will trust white people less in the future and kill a higher percentage. Is that the move? Not that I heard of, man. Oh, God, it's just outside, brother. 
I really like this scene. This is really good. So you about to leave in the peacemaker yeah. outfit? Dirty as shit. They didn't With clean blood all over months. it. With blood all oh, that's gross. You can't see me, but I can see you. He really didn't have to him. This is gonna be a comedy for sure. That's a lot of pussies. <laughs> hey, Octopussy, get over here. The wild one. Oh, this is crib. What's in the bag? This house screams America. This house screams and smells like shit. Guaranteed. Yeah. Look at that. Stay where you are, Smith. Jesus. Oh, that's what she was talking to. I think in danger yeah, or I don't know. Yeah. They put an emphasis on it. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's Dad? Who's Dad? On Charlie Sheen. It is. We got the house for like five bucks. See if Charlie goes on. You let somebody shoot you? <laughs> That's some shit. I'll be so shook of that. Give him a hug. It's a bald eagle too. This is fucking amazing. This is fucking amazing. Bloodsport, we don't ever get a rat phobia. And I just, I just said phobia. I mean like pure terror. Screaming. His own father tortured him by locking him in a crate for 24 hours with nothing but starving rats. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoyed that shit. That's sick. That's my sick. father. This bag that was a brand of the rats. Please, God, don't tell me he was the one who shot you. Look, I just came by to give you a glance to see if you have another helmet for me. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. This dad's really about that right. This has sonic blast capabilities. What the fuck? If you can do some good with it, maybe take out a couple of commies, blacks, whoa, but that goes to show like that's the type of dad he got. He's all around piece of shit. Did this dipshit really show up in full cosplay mode? I told you she's fucking us. She's not fucking us. Is that an eagle in his back seat? She's fucking us. He's gonna be the leader. Yeah, he really a shooter. Eagly is your pet eagle. Yeah. Is your dog named Doggy? <laughs> All right. Is your daughter named Daughtery? <laughs> yeah, that was OD. Okay. Hey, sweet cheeks. Can you take my order real quick? Don't speak to women like that, brother. Sweet cheeks. Just like telling us how to have no sugar tits. It's totally inappropriate. Just don't be too big with your sugar tits. Sugar tits are that might be vigilante. Uh, I love animals. Yeah, he was amazing. He's about to attack her. Yeah. Too. 
Ah, Told you. What he said? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm finna see a bar fight. Oh, whoa, bro. We trying to make a girl flinch? Like, what? <laughs> She's with the shit stone. Oh, Walla. Viola. 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 Amanda Walla always has like a bowl with the into the nets, like. She's going to die. Yeah, she died at the end of that, the season. It is. Wow. That's her mom. Yo, what's going with John Cena? Like, he asked to do a scene like this. Oh, damn. Oh. She's actually doing a thing. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh what kind God. of monster? Oh Whoa! God, she? she might be a butterfly. That's an alien. That's some killer poop. I mean, yeah, some killer poop. That nigga said, "Gotta go." Oh my, oh God, my God, bro! Nah, she's scaring me. Scary, bro. He's gonna come through and hit her with a car. Which one is that one? Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> this show's lit. <laughs> that was some boy shit right there. Ain't wow. no amount of coochie worth that. Nah, this show's fire. I like this show. That was a great first episode. That was a great first episode, yeah. What the hell did he just fight, bro? Bro, I That's don't a know good question. I, I can't even call it. I don't know. Like a monster from the Men in Black. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> like, yo, I thought it was just an assassin, but this girl started screeching like she's from uh, freaking The Grudge and shit like that, yeah. bro. I'm like, nigga, what TV does she crawl out of? Next started yeah, breaking like Black the Exorcist. Canary. You said who? <laughs> Black Canary. Well, she had super strength the way she jumped down. Yeah. Man, you can tell this is going to be a really funny series Um, throughout. I think all... Tidy Whitey's. Huh? Fighting your Teddy Whitey's. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't the funniest part to me, but that well, was. It reminded me of Tom Cruise. Yeah, Vanilla Sky. It's not Vanilla Sky. Was that Vanilla Sky? Nah, fat is hella. Are you sure? <laughs> I feel like it's Vanilla Tom Sky when he had the fucked up face. That's Vanilla Sky. Are you sure? Yeah. It's not Vanilla Sky. It was uh, when he was younger. He slid, slides and what? Yeah. 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 The button up, the white button up. The yeah, that's what this re this reminds me of the new version. And he's a wrestler too, wrestlers fight. So I feel like it was a play on what he is. And I just think it was just a funny fight sequence that um, the female, whatever that girl's name is, she helped enhance it. Because it made it look kind of like she was an alien. Like, I don't know, I forget, extraterrestrial vibes. Screeching her face was all discombobulated. 
It made it seem like she was like a vampire or something to me. That's that's kind of the vibe I got from it. Like some kind of night creature like yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I really fuck with this show because I really... Um, Peacemaker, I feel like... I don't know anything about Peacemaker, first of all. I don't know if it's like a real comic behind him in DC Comics or whatever, but the fact that they have John Cena like playing him... Um, is an unexpected character for me to see, and him playing that kind of role, that comedic but uh, brutal role, I, I really am going to enjoy the shit out of this season. I really think that this was a great way to piggyback off of the Suicide Squad movie because of the comic relief within the Suicide Squad movie, and because of the gore within the Suicide Squad movie too. Like, like I had said, I had said this about another show before. Like a lot of these. A superhero action shows are putting a lot more emphasis on not just humor, but the blood and gore aspect in these shows. Like, especially DC. Like, even even like their animations are starting to get more bloody and gory and get more dangerous. And I like mm-hmm. I like that they're doing it with Peacemaker because it's introducing us. It's introducing us to a character that we don't usually see in DC, but in a different light, in a light that we can all enjoy as an adult. Where he's funny. Um, and there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of violence and there's gonna be a lot of death. And I even like I even wanna know more about the the sentient being, alien, demon, whatever just tried to kill Peacemaker because it seemed as if the um the demon was trying to assassinate him, like she was assigned to assassinate for him. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like she's working for somebody and working for another group of people. And it makes me wonder, like, oh, are all the butterflies, do all the butterflies have powers like that? Are all the butterflies, like, different type of beings that could, that just screech and jump from buildings and whatnot? And is there information that Mern is not telling them? Because remember, he said, yo, I don't trust Mern. So he could be withholding information. And Amanda Waller could be withholding information, too, because that's her character. Oh, yeah. She definitely she's is. Always, she's always that. withholding yeah. information, so. And was that yeah. even a butterfly, too? Because the thing is, we're not, that's. Because he was given a folder to study the butterfly that they the were going to attack. Which was, yeah, which is a person that was a senator. So that's something like, I don't even know if that would be classified as a butterfly. That could be a whole different, mm-hmm. like, species or whatever category that would be pinned on, <coughs> stuff like that, that could be the opposition of whatever is, like, they, they, they could be working with the butterfly for all we know, shit like mm-hmm. that. Because they already know they're going to be attacking them. I feel like, I love the fact that we're just thrown into this, like, too, because it's like, a lot of us don't know shit about Peacemaker and all that stuff, so it's like, I feel like everything's going to be new to us, and we're going to develop along with the story and shit. It's well, a risky business, by the way, too. But what if, what if, what if that, um, his target hired that demon to take out Peacemaker because they think that he might be, maybe the strongest asset on that team, seeing that he was part of Project Starfish? Yeah, that's all I was saying. Yeah. I was like, yo, they could be working together for all we know and shit like that, so... Mm. It is it's lived that is actually aliens off the rip. I didn't think we was gonna deal with aliens because I have no idea what the fuck we're gonna be dealing with. I mean, I mean, it doesn't even, it's not that surprising though because the movie we had that diesel ass fucking jellyfish starfish yeah, sorrow. So yeah, 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 that was fire. Yeah, so that's that movie and um, I mean the Waller uh that's that um, East that her letting us know that her daughter. Like, let's find out that's her daughter. I oh, think yeah, that yeah. was dope because it showcases that this show is important. And Amanda Waller, to me, is like the, um, what's that nigga's name from Marvel? Nick Fury? Yeah, she's like the Nick Fury of um, DC. And but, I feel like having... But, like, evil? Yeah. yeah. I feel like having her um in this. And not only that, too, I like the humor. I like, um, I think this is showcasing John Cena's acting abilities and showcasing... Where he could be more dull, he could be more uh, dull humor more than um in WWE where he's limited, and I think it's very good because his um the beginning scene with whoever that actor was did an amazing job. That the back and forth there was good, and I feel like John Cena being new to um acting, I feel like, well not being too new, but I feel like I, no, I'm not being too new, but I feel like being put on a uh, mainstream show like this and holding his own even with Mr. Sheen aka Charlie Sheen's dad um, as well as being playing his father and I like um, that they're not afraid to tackle even racism um, already in the show it's just making you know that there's no holds bars in the show yeah I, th- I think it's interesting how they did it too I like how they dropped three episodes at a time um, the first uh, drop just cause I think this episode they did a really good job of like 
introducing us to all the characters and kind of building rapport with the characters. Really? And what you can expect from all of these characters throughout the series, like what kind of comedy I'm going to get from you. Like mm. John Cena already kind of building rapport with like the dye beard guy with Mern. You kind of see where they are uh, trying to gel it all together already. And then at the end, we got like the Amanda Waller being the mother of a, uh, of a uh, tasty or out of I think she is in this, uh, yeah. in this show. And, uh, I think it's gonna be dope because I always thought like when we when we were introduced to Murray, he was like he works with Waller. I was like, for some reason, I feel like they don't have the same objective. And then she kind of confirmed that towards yeah, the end, yeah, like, like don't I'm not me. telling nobody else but you. Mm. I just got you there to make sure I understand what's mm. going on there. So we didn't get too much in this one, and I think that's why I was dope they dropped the episodes because I think now once we can go right on to episode two, right on to episode Good three, binge it. and it, yeah, and it's basically gonna bring you kind of. I think it's gonna give us a pretty concise story of where we'll be going mm -hmm. like the sto questions we have like what's going on with the butterflies who is that girl i think we'll get that all in the three, set, three episodes mm -hmm. drop. and that's why i like amanda waller because she does like her character and all and all like the things that i've seen her in whether it's in the movie whether it's in animation movies whether it's in the justice league show like she always does a good job of always having an ulterior motive aside from what she told you she wants to be done you know what i'm saying she always has some type of secret motive behind everything. There's always a method behind her madness. And it seems like she has good intentions until in the end, she always is a one who seems like she's a villain. Even in the first Suicide movie, which mm -hmm. if you haven't seen that spoiler alert, when at the end, when they saved everybody and then she still came up with the detonator, like, nah, but I'll still blow your heads off though. Like, I, I still don't trust y'all. Like, she yeah, always has had, <laughs> yeah, she's already, she's always had, she's always had like those different She's always had different intentions, and I really like that about her character. And it seems like she could possibly take her out, because I feel like with uh, Tasty, aka her daughter, uh, working for her, I feel like that could be that could work against her, too. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, she don't even want to do it. Yeah. She really wants him, like, let me just get this bread and get me out of here. And the fact that they're, they're foreshadowing, oh, this is the only job, and then we can move, blah, 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 it just yeah. seems like... It's gonna be your last job, but period. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she she getting body. Yeah. I think I think Amanda Waller, she might do her daughter dirty. You think? Damn, I, her I daughter think she dog? might. I don't know. Amanda Waller. Girl. Amanda Waller. Is be, Amanda Waller is an asshole. I wouldn't be surprised. But to her she daughter, like I, it's understandable why she's doing it to like villains because they're villains. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a last chance. You know what I'm saying? You better do what I what I tell you. I'm gonna blow your head off. But like to her daughter, like I don't Granted, know. I don't know her relationship with her daughter because realistically, this is the first time I ever got introduced to Amanda Waller even having a child. Period. Point blank. In anything that I've known about her, so like, I'm really I'm just basing it off of Amanda Waller and how much of an asshole she could be. But I can't call her. Family's different, Jerry. That's yeah. the irony of yeah. it. Though. Garb got his his grandkids. I mean, one of him body. Nah, he didn't get him body. He did. Bro. He just he did. Show. Yeah, he just did it. He just no, didn't he do the most. It. He let it go he down. He did not orchestrate it. This is all. That's this is these are all so lies you tell right, Well, that's another example. I just can't think of right now. The Lannisters. <laughs> another one. They didn't all like each other. They hated Tyrion. True, and Tyrion killed his dad. Yeah. 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 But it's yeah. funny that yeah. she's like, yo, she was telling her not to be empathetic towards Peacemaker, but. It's like she's forced to be empathetic with her daughter that's on the team and shit like that. So her decision is going to be skewed later on the line and stuff mm -hmm. like that when it comes to certain it's decisions. It's Achilles' happen. heel. Yeah, exactly. Imagine that's what she did, yo. Imagine you know how her daughter wants to get out. Imagine her daughter goes through the mission and then she hits her with the same thing. Y'all put something in your brain. If you try to believe I'm blowing your <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be wild. Imagine, <laughs> she goes, imagine she goes against her mom and is the first person to take out Amanda, be the reason Amanda Waller falls. Because it, it, it showcases, because right. it, it showcases that her daughter seems like she lives a more honest and um, peaceful life, and I feel like maybe she doesn't know how deadly her mom's uh, activities are. So maybe her infiltrating will make it where she might infiltrate some information that Amanda Wall is not quite ready for. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. Well. Peacemaker. That's episode one of the Peacemaker with RTTV. Make sure y'all keep it locked here for the whole series, man. We got episode two and three coming the next day and the next day. So keep it locked here. Have that notification bell ringing so you know when we drop these episodes. But if it's your first time here, it definitely will be your last week. You kill murder in Smash. Smash. That subscribe button, man. I go by the name of DC. I think it's going to be a dope series, man. Shout out to Eagly. Patrick RT. Shout out to that boy John Cena. 12 rounds of Marine. Now we got Peacemaker. Uh-uh.
Yo, it's a man of myth of maniac walking to the squad team. Now, bitch, I tell these guys about John Cena, man. I watched the Marine Bitch, tell you. these guys, yeah, man. Yeah, I watched it before you. I binge watched the Marine. Fast and Furious. That shit it's just was, a movie. You know what? Yeah. Shout out to Fast and Furious franchise, yo. I'm not even playing around. It was a space. It's your, uh, it's your boy Rob City RT and RT TV. We watch it first. You remember where you watched it? It's your boy Wells, the anime King John Cena. He's still in winter 2022 with this show. Yeah. Oh, say he gonna, knows. Say he's going to be a better actor than The Rock soon. Oh, shit. That's he's that's coming that's for The Rock. The Rock man. is on DC now, that's too. That's the real Toretto. Man. Black Adam. The Rock the had Rock's three n- three movies in Netflix trend and top 10 he's the first actor to ever do that in hollywood oh that same movie's trending in the top three the rock Rock. Rock. wwe shout to the old wwe vince mcmahon all that you guys are building stars out there to act as yo yeah damn y'all good yeah they got some heavy hitters yeah man batista the rock john cena Triple H had movies, but they wasn't so it. Nah, Triple, Triple H didn't, H didn't care. Too. He was Triple in Blade 3. Don't have a disrespect. He was in a classic oh, Blade yeah, he 3. He was in Blade 3. That, that he was a great Wesley scene. Snipes, the, act, right. the action scene with him and um, Wesley was, Snipes was actually very good. Yeah, I yeah. Hunter Hearst helmet. He hurt his back, so. He did, really? He did for a long time. He got shit fucked up. Wait, from that scene? He uh, you know, like in general. Though, in general actually, yeah. nah. That's crazy. I actually think he did hurt his back from that nah, movie. He had a bad back. No, I know, triple, but I think he actually, H, I think yeah. he had like a bad accident Wait, in that bad movie. Back. I, I yeah, thought he had a like, bad knee. He had a you know, no, no, he, he tore his ACL like three, four times, but he had a bad back. He had a really bad back. Yeah, that's what like his. I think yeah, I think that's like that's what made him become like Stephanie McMahon's boyfriend husband. You have a bad back and it gets worse. You got chills. It's fine. Yeah, but yeah, that's that. Who's it at? The round table.